Good morning, Co-op Congress. Can I get your attention, please? I know we've got a lot to get through today and everybody's really excited, but if you can come in, there's still plenty of seats at the front. So great to see you all here this morning. I'm Rose Marley, the Chief Exec of Cooperatives UK. I get the wonderful job always of telling you that there isn't a planned fire alarm. Um, but if there is, the muster point is on Portland Street and York Street, and you can see the fire exits uh, around you and look for COPS UK staff, and they will uh, help to guide you out. Um, toilets are not on this floor, they're down a level and up a level. Um, and I also wanted to let you know as well about some research that we're doing because we want to get you involved. And it's all about meaningful membership. Um, and this is particularly with regards to the digital experience. So as part of this year, we're keen to speak to as many of our members as possible about the work that we're doing with Outlandish Co-op um, on this process. And there will be a session taking place this afternoon at 3 p.m. But also, if you can't make that session, they'll also be on our exhibition stand. And we really like to say, need all of your feedback. Because this project is part of one of our strategic themes, which is to lead this new era of cooperation, to facilitate and empower greater cooperation between cooperatives, and to help to grow a stronger, more connected, and sustainable cooperative movement. So we do need your opinions. And there's plenty of breaks uh, throughout the day, so please do visit our fellow cooperators at exhibition stands as we go along because that is the theme of the conference, the spirit of cooperation. Oh, not that one. <laughs> um, and without um, a, a, the whole idea, we want, want you to really demonstrate principle number six today. We want you to work together. We want you to speak to each other. If there's somebody on your table right now that you don't know, please introduce yourself and find out what those synergies are and go fix some stuff, some broken markets. It's not like there's not a lot to go at at the moment. And then next week, when it is Co-op's fortnight, lots of you have already signed up. I'll get there in the end with these things. <laughs> lots of you have already signed up to an altogether different way of doing business and supporting um, a, a new idea that we're doing. We're crowdfunding a national campaign uh, and we're asking people to get as involved as possible and to break that age-old cycle where we just talk to ourselves. So co-ops fortnight this year, we really, really do need to get out there and show and tell people our stories about what this altogether different way of doing business is and how it impacts and makes for a fairer society. But as I've said in the programme, I want you to get stuck in today. I want you to make some noise. In fact, in the words of one of my favourite, very favourite um, Mancunians, um, I'd like to incite this meeting to a rebellion. Um, but we could just do uh, the, the more uh, modern version, which is to get the Co-op Congress hashtag trending. So if you can give that a go, and let's say make some noise, and let's have a look and get it out there, at what modern cooperation is. Before I do that, though, I would like to uh, welcome to the stage our uh, very own rebel without a cause, uh, the chairman of Cooperatives UK, in his final congress, actually, as chair of Cooperatives UK. Can I please welcome Radstock's very own Don Morris. So it's, uh, it, it is an absolute honour uh, to open this year's Co Congress. It's quite apt, with this being my uh, last term of office, uh, which is almost up, and this is one of my last duties as Chair of Cooperatives UK. Congress is a great symbol of how things have changed and are changing at Cooperatives UK and the movement more widely. Congress is bigger and bolder. Congress is about action, about progress, not simply cooperators talking to cooperators, we can be good at that for sure. But uh, we've shown the substance and uh, the action we've taken behind those words. When cooperatives work together, great things can happen. Our opening keynote demonstrates exactly that, how collective action can help bring about change. Sustained campaigning with a big push last year from our retail cooperative society members 
have produced this major step forward, but enough teasers. We've a fantastic lineup of speakers. We've got CEOs, we've got MPs, mayors, filmmakers, journalists, musicians, and retrofitters. We cover everything from climate and sustainability to care and community shares. Times remain tough, but cooperatives deliver good, sustainable jobs. Cooperatives are more resilient in times of stress and strife. They deliver a wider ownership and control of things that really matter. The word is getting out, and we must all continue to make our voices heard. So enjoy the conference. We've got, uh, we're going to have two superb days, and I want everyone here to play their part. The more you put in, the more you'll get out. So make your voices heard, and let's make sure we all act on what we've learned here at Cooperative Congress. Thank you.